Hello everyone, it's Justine. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a card with the small die of the month from Spellbinders for February 2023. And this die is called Floral Mini Tiles and I will just pop a picture on the screen of what the all is in the die. Spellbinders does a really great job at kind of laying things out so I will do that. Basically it comes with a different shapes that you can pop some florals on. So I chose to use the hexagons. I chose to create my own design and just kind of use shades of green and just kind of make and make a simple but pretty card here. So I went ahead and die cut everything in advance just so this video would not be forever long but I did want to just mention before I start assembling things that to save on a little bit of my paper I did die cut out the hexagons here with this paper behind. The rest of my greens I used just from different scraps that I had in my stash. Then with this, if you can tell this has been 3D embossed, this is the 3D embossing folder for February. So I just ran that through my platinum with the embossing folder. And then I cut this down to be four by five and a quarter. So it's just a little bit of a border and I am using an A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's kind of the standard size that I like to use and it works out very well for me. So to begin, I will just attach that on and then I will start assembling some of my hexagons. I think for time's sake, I will assemble maybe one or two and then some of the little flowers and then maybe just speed up the part of the video where I am gluing the rest of these on because each hexagon will basically be a replica of itself and then kind of show you what everything looks like at the end. So if you aren't familiar with Spellbinders monthly products, they do come out with different dies and stamps and kits every single month. So if you're interested in that, I will have just a general link in the description and then I will have a small die of the month link that you can find this specific die on. But I love that they have so many different options for different subscriptions and you know some people are stamp people some people are die cutting people and they even now have a stitched die which sold out last month it was so popular and I'm just really thrilled to be part of it because it's just wonderful to see people get excited about crafts I know that things have been kind of rough in the world for the last couple years and it's fun to be excited about simple things again, like a stamp set, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and add on the large flower. I will just put that directly onto the back, right onto the white piece, and then I will just build up my flower from there. I'm gonna use my reverse tweezers here from Spellbinders so I can make sure to place things the way I want to. Sometimes I will offset flowers so you can see the grouping of petals line up this way. And if I offset it, it looks just a little different. I think I will line them up today because I haven't done that in a while and why not? Then one more layer and then the center will go on. You really don't see a lot of that dark green layer, but that's okay. The idea of it is present with the background. Then I have this circle that I will just pop on the center. And that flower is finished. Now I'm going to put two flowers on the bottom just to kind of add some interest to the area. And it looks like they're supposed to be, you can kind of see there's kind of a gap there. And to me these look like stars so I think that this might be a die I will pull for pull from in the future because there's stars and if I ever need a little star die I now have one so that's exciting then I will put on the center of the small flowers and I die cut that out with gold mirror cardstock and I just love gold mirror cardstock as you know so 
I just put that on there. Okay, I will repeat this process of creating the same hexagon four more times and I will show you what they look like when I am finished. All right, I am back just with a little bit of the magic from video editing and I've finished creating all of the hexagons and now I'm ready to glue everything down. And when I was thinking about the placement of everything really, I just wanted to create something that was a little more unique and not have the shapes actually touch each other, but still have the sides line up. So I don't want it touching just like so, but I'd, I'd like the sides to be close. So it's flat edge against flat edge. My overall design layout kind of reminds me of a scorpion, but I guess it could just be an upside down Y. I just was kind of <laughs> trying to make some kind of a pattern with these that was just a little unique. I really am interested in kind of like that onion shape that comes in this die set. I thought that that was really pretty. I might even make some Chinese New Year cards. I don't know if I will be or not since that did pass already, but maybe for next year I just might. Now this stamps, stamped sentiment, have a beautiful day, is from the stamp and coordinating die of the month club item. I thought that it coordinated nicely with the idea of this card being kind of a, just a cheerful green card. I matted that on some light green and dark green cardstock to match the rest of this card. As I'm going here, I'm just really admiring the 3D background that is on this card. I think that it is just very simple but stunning at the same time. I've been really impressed with Spellbinders embossing folders recently because I just they're just so neat and they take maybe two minutes to make that background and it just adds so much texture to cards. Anyway, I considered adding some gems to this card but I think that it has a lot going on without gems so I'm going to skip the gems on this one and call this card finished. So thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you're interested in the die set, I will have that linked below. So go ahead and check that out. And if you're interested in what I do with some more of the club items, go ahead and check out those on my channel. I am receiving all of the club items from Spellbinders, so I have those linked for you as well. And I've been trying to make videos for each of the club item every month. So hopefully you can find some inspiration there. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!